what's not in this meal prep is that there's no soy, there is no dairy, and that there's no gluten, meaning there's no bread, no tofu, and no cheese, especially ice cream. Also, there's no sugar, at least processed sugar. It's really just chicken and vegetables, with sometimes rice, and it's all organic, mainly the chicken. Mainly for this recipe, I was trying to copy this video I saw of people cooking rice and like a whole meal with chicken and vegetables in a rice cooker and I kind of just chopped up a bunch of vegetables, marinated the chicken, the chicken has garlic and onion and then I kind of just layer it in a way where it's gonna like cook evenly hopefully and then I put in the bell peppers, some frozen peas and carrots, the mushroom and then I go make space for the egg <laughs> and then I just crack an egg in there and then I hope for the best. I broke the rice cooker. Like, look. What? I can't even cook that way. She's struggling. Ugh, not even that hot. Transfer this. I don't even know how I'm gonna. How am I gonna? It's like layered to where it needs. <laughs> We're just gonna transfer it into the crock pot and hope for the best. Safely passed into the bowl. Let's hope for the best. Before anything, I try to make my seasoning mixes first. I usually get my seasoning mixes online, so I'll go ahead and put an ingredients list on the screen so you can screenshot that. I also double the ingredients just because I'm making more chicken. So here we have our first mix done, and then we're gonna go ahead and start the second one. This one's a Mediterranean one that I found. It has dried dill in it, which I really like. It also has garlic and lemon juice that I added. Now for the fun part, I had this triple mini crock pot cooker and typically I just throw in the chicken in there, throw some oil on it and then I start seasoning it. I like to do this before anything so that the chicken can start marinating in the seasoning. Typically I leave it for about 30 minutes to an hour and then in the meantime I am just cutting up vegetables and preparing the other dishes. Now we're gonna go ahead and prepare the other dish in the bigger crock pot. I'm putting ghee on there. I like the way ghee tastes. And then I'm just like marinating the chicken in there and putting the spices on top. After I give it a good rub, I added a little more avocado oil just so that it all sticks together. And there are my chickens marinating. Next is the preparation of my veggies. I go to Trader Joe's for all my vegetables and I get organic baby potatoes as well as organic green beans, I think is what I got. Usually all of it's organic. I love how Trader Joe's just has everything pre-cut for you. So you just throw it in the crock pot and you don't have to worry about anything. I also add whatever leftover seasoning I had for the chicken for the veggies or I just put salt and pepper and then I chopped up an onion. I usually put half an onion for every dish just to give it more flavor and then I throw it in the crock pot and I set it for four hours on high. And for this dish I'm doing the same thing where I'm preparing the veggies. I used yellow bell peppers, orange and red bell peppers and then I added a purple onion and then I just season it and throw it all together. Feel free to season your vegetables however you want. I just put salt and pepper and paprika so that they don't come out bland tasting. Also, this was my first time using the triple mini crock pot cooker thing and it was nice. I just don't like how it doesn't have a timer so it doesn't automatically turn to warm, but I still do high on for three hours. Now our first batch is all done. I went ahead and transferred it into another container. I don't know why, but you really don't need to do this part. You just put it in the smaller containers. The bell pepper and the chicken also got finished. It looked really good. It tasted really good. I think this was like my favorite dish out of all of them. And then I went ahead and put them in these glass meal prep containers that I got from Amazon. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but um... I mean, it's cooked. This turned out really bad. I would not recommend doing this. I'm gonna still eat it though. And there are some burnt parts. I went ahead and used that rice anyways because I wasn't gonna 
you know, waste it. But yeah, pretty much I added that rice to all the chicken and bell pepper dishes and I kind of just meal prepped everything. The three batches makes about, I would say 10 to 15 of these containers and then I just throw them in the freezer and I'm good for the work week.